Hello everybody, I'm John and in this tutorial you will be learning how to create cameras. So let's go ahead and create a simple scene. I'm just going to create a plane and some primitives. Just change the color of this. Okay, that's good enough. So to create a camera, you go to our create panel, cameras, and you see that we got two types of cameras, a target camera and a free camera. The target camera is like if the camera were in a tripod, and the free camera is basically a handheld camera. So probably if we are going to animate something, you probably need to use I mean if you are trying if you want to animate the camera you probably should use the free camera so to create a camera just click on that and I mean the free camera you just click in any viewport depending on the viewport you click you probably have to rotate it and the target camera you just click and drag so you see that we got a camera and a target right here I can do anything I want with it, I can move the camera up can move the target up can drag the camera a little bit the way that's pretty much it uh, so to set the camera properties you just select the camera go to your modify panel and here we got some simple prop properties so I can change the lens millimeters the field of view the same thing Orto orthographic projection stock lenses some default presets I can oh that's nice I can change the type of the camera so I made a target camera but I can change it to free and you see the target just vanished and here he is again show cam show horizon that would show in the render uh, that's nice environment ranges so if I press show uh, I can see the range of the camera so if you're not sure if your camera is getting everything in the scene you just check this and I can increase or decrease the range it's a good thing if you have a doubt about something uh, I'm going to check this clipping planes no big deal multipass effect so this is to enable some effects that are applied to the camera such as depth of field or motion blur there are others but not here right now you can just enable and hit preview if you, I had any it would show up and render effect per pass so that would render the effect separately of the main render I have here the target distance I could also move the object the object, no I'm sorry, the target the same thing uh, something else uh, here we got the depth of field parameters but I won't talk about it I'll do another tutorial later about depth of field and motion blur and that's all the parameters the free camera is exactly the same thing so I won't talk about it and that's okay so to show the camera view in the viewport 
you just in any viewport it doesn't have to be in a perspective but I'm going to select it right here so you go to perspective and I can select my camera and as you see now I have the camera view so if I move my camera in any other viewport I would move in the perspective I guess that's it if you are going to render it from the camera you probably already saw my tutorial so I won't talk about it how but anyway if you want to render the camera in the render setup you just right here in the view you just select your camera and render pretty simple so I guess that's it oh also you can animate your cameras so I'm going to animate it really fast damn it ah that's because the target camera So I can animate it. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next tutorials.